What's that? Long time no talk, huh? What's up, guys? Welcome back for whoever's watching. It's me. It is me. We're in my kitchen, sitting on the island. Not on that island, but the island. No, it's been a while. I apologize for the delay in videos, but um, I'm back. Today, I thought I'd do something a little differently. I would show you guys. No, not show you guys. I will. Well, I mean, I am gonna show you, but like, yeah, show you. Cause I was gonna say teach, but I'm not gonna teach you cause I'm not a teacher. But I'm gonna show you how I make chilaquiles. <laughs> Why, you may ask? To be honest, I don't even know, okay? To be honest, I just like, okay, I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> you guys always get it out of me, okay? So basically my mom has told me that she doesn't want to cook for me anymore. It happens, you know, we gotta leave the nest at some point. Like she doesn't want, she doesn't want to cook for me, and, but she also doesn't want me to leave the house, which whatever, Mexican moms. Anyways, I'm gonna be making chilaquiles. And you're probably asking like, why are you gonna make chilaquiles? Like chilaquiles, like what? First of all, Chilaquiles are a very popular plate in Mexico and it's a very popular plate in the Hispanic culture And so I feel like I would be a disgrace to my culture if I didn't make chilaquiles or just knew how to make them Ice machine. Oh, so I just thought let's make that and then I also thought well, you know what? Why not show the rest of the world how I do it? And since I haven't posted a video in a while, and like I said, I've been going through a lot, I kind of, like, I didn't want to say I ran out of ideas, because I didn't. <laughs> Just started, of course, no. But at the same time, like I said, we, we're, you're supposed to watch me evolve in this channel. And since, you know, mom don't want to cook for me no more, I might as well do it myself and show you guys how I do it. So I think for first is first, I probably should get off the island and get into my outfit. Let's go. What y'all think? <laughs> You're probably wondering why are you wearing an apron with a paint palette? But that's because I'm a work of art. No, <laughs> I'm totally kidding. That's totally a joke. Don't believe what anything I say. I don't know. I feel like it fits perfectly. How about we do like a nice little like runway? <laughs> Call like Doña Candy or something. Call me Candelaria, y'all. Buenas tardes, me llamo Candelaria. Eh, hoy vamos a cocinar chilaquiles. Este, sí. Yeah, no. We get, let's let's see outfit number two. Yeah, let's do that. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay, now I feel like Martha Stewart or something, like very chefy. Which you know, if I'm gonna be making chilaquiles, I kind of like I still want to cook chef. This is all from the dollar store, okay? I found it in the kit section. It's the closest thing I got to an apron and it's the closest thing I'm gonna get to a chef. First things first, the ingredients. So in order to make chilaquiles, you're gonna need the following. Tips. Mine are from the Superior. Um, this is a very horrible angle, but you know, lack of resources, totally fine. So we're gonna need chippies. <laughs> Superior, sponsor me. <laughs> you're gonna need tomates. You know those green ones that have the this thing? Those. We're gonna need like about five to six, okay? We're gonna need one chile. <laughs> We're gonna also need cilantro, garlic, ajo, salt. This looks really different, huh? This looks really interesting. Hmm, why did my mom keep it in here? I don't know. Whatever. These are your ingredients. Okay, so now to get cooking, cooking, we're gonna get the olla out. Olla! First and foremost, we have to make la salsa. I know exactly what I'm doing. So you're gonna grab an olla. <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> Woo! And then you gotta put, you gotta, you know what, I'm doing this all wrong. Huh? I know exactly what I'm doing. Hold up. Then enjuagar the veggies in a bowl that has holes. But I should probably do this in Spanish, huh? I could do it Spanglish, we'll do Spanglish. Poner los vegetales en un traste que tiene hoyitos para poder lavarlos. Okay, ahora se lavan. Now, because I'm going to do the next step, you're probably going to say that I'm dumb for washing them because next step requires them to boil here, but I like them to be double washed, okay? Then you fill this with water. Maybe about like halfway, I don't know. The chile and los tomates. And you light up, tiger. And now we wait for it to boil. Okay, so once it starts looking like this, 
that's how you know it's ready. So you turn it off, you touch it. No, I'm kidding. This is where the licuadora. If you're cooking chile, you know the struggle. So this is where the licuadora comes in. I basically dump this in this. But since I ain't trying to make no mess, I'm about to do it on the sink. Okay, so you kind of want to have your licuadora looking like this-ish. So like the water, it's up to here. If you need to add more, you totally can later. Not right now. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. And then you put it on there. It's on. And now... over here start heating that up you know you turn it on just medium honestly I don't know why I say medium a little bit just medium and then you let this like you know heat up <laughs> ow <laughs> this is the real tester oh my god that's what I needed Oh, how annoying. I knew I was missing something. Like, why the heck did I eat every other? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I actually missed a couple steps and I knew that I was missing steps. Oh. Now that this is actually looking a little thicker than a snicker. Woo! See me. Facial. Now what you have to do is add the rest of the ingredients. Now you add the cilantro. This is supposed to go in with the tomatoes and the chile, but you know I'm trash and I don't really know how to, you know, do this thing because I don't know how to cook apparently. And then you just, you add a little bit of salt. I feel like it's getting a little thicky. As to the water that you have left, you can add a little bit more. And then, now, you can actually cook. This would have been so bad. Okay, now it's looking way better. So now, we bring the bad boy down. Heat it up. We get some nice oil. And you just throw it in there. You kind of just spread it around town. I think to use cooking spray, but I like to give myself a hard time. So now you let that heat up. This is where the superior chips come in. We pour these in. Now, use this. Oh, facial for two. And then you just quickly put it all over. Oh. Then with the remaining of this water, put that in there. A little bit more. Voila! Now all you do is cover them bad boys up and you let them cook. And you made chilaquiles. <laughs> My mother would be so proud right now. Mom, this is for you. Hope you're watching. Current status, you can see the smoke coming out. Facial number three. Um, oh, this is hot. Okay, so now when it starts like, you know, steamy, it's because it's getting... Do you see that? Wow, that is just gorgeous. Okay, so current, current status. It's good, it's hot. <laughs> Look at that. That is just... Work of art, you guys. Work of art. Wait, is it burnt? Nope. It looks great actually. It's still it's still like not done done, which is why it kind of looks a little, you know. It also low-key depends on how you want them. I think I kind of want them like this. Yeah. I low-key want to face my mom. So she answers the call. Mom! Hey. Te gusta como me veo? Estoy soy chef. Hi. Yeah, ¿cómo te parece mis chilaquiles? Me salieron bien? Es para mi video. Oh, está bien. Te, te salieron bien, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Soy ya les apago? Yeah. All right. Mom approves. Okay, so basically this concludes my nice little uh, video, I guess you can say, of my chilaquiles. I'm pretty satisfied with how they came out. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna try to get them over here. They look so ugly. Chilaquiles are not meant to look beautiful, okay? They're kind of like me, you know? On the outside, it's kind of like, Ooh, but then on the inside, amazing. I clearly had way too much fun filming this. Okay, so basically, yeah, that, compute, that completes my video of, you know, Doña Chef, Doña Candelaria. I can't give myself that name. I don't know. 
I like it. It's very Mexican. Love it. Love, it. Love my Mexican culture. I hope I didn't disappoint. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I'm sorry if this is probably the randomest thing you've ever seen. Or maybe not the randomest thing you've ever seen, but random thing you've seen today. I hope you like it. Oh, like, comment what you want to see next. See me do some random things. And subscribe to my channel because this is literally me. Okay, well, I think that concludes my video. So, posture, chef is out of here. How about we get you a little higher so we can talk? So we can actually talk, okay? Let's do that, let's do that. Oh my God, double chin. I'm gonna get it higher, I'm a tall girl. I'm a tall girl. I can't. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Ooh, I'm out here living my best life, y'all. Focus. Focus? Great. Do you want to say hi to the world? Say hi! <laughs> Damn, why am I so close? Why do I do this to myself? You know what? I'm going to be you a little bit. No, it's because I want you to be kind of close. It's because I miss you. Okay, never mind. What's a good chef position?